All right guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about one thing that is super important when it comes to making your 5.4 Triton last longer. So it actually has to do with what's in the bed of my truck here. And there's two big things that I want to talk about here. Um, so we're not just focused on one thing at the moment. However, there is going to be two things and they both are related to oil. And I know you guys are going to be like, oh really? Oil? Yeah. Guys, it's going to be oil change intervals and the weight of oil that you're running in these 5.4s. So let's jump into it and let's do it. All right guys, so as you can see, what I just pulled out of the bed of my truck is 5W30. It's not the normal 5W20. And guys, let's talk about that for a second on why we are using 530 over 520. So when we think about it, the heavier weight oil is actually gonna provide more lubrication for these higher mileage trucks. So this is a 5.4 liter, uh, it's 2007 model F-150 and it's got 175,000 miles on it. You heard that right guys. So it's got quite a few miles. And let me say this, I don't, I don't have a piece of wood. Let me find a tree to knock on. However, we have had no major engine failures coming from the motor. We really don't even have any major oil leaks at the moment. Like I said, tomorrow I'll go out and start the truck. Yeah, it won't run. But today we are uh, not having any issues out of 175,000 mile motor on these 5.4s. And the reason I feel like, in my opinion, not only is I got a good truck, because these trucks do tend to have failures, even with this uh, oil change interval, but however, use what I'm using, uh, typical motorcraft oil, uh, that's what I've always run, and I always do 5,000 mile oil change interval. I think, in my opinion, that's gonna help your truck and uh, help your motor last a lot longer. Whether you have a truck, Expedition, uh, Crown Vic, whatever the heck you put the 5.4s in, this is how you make it last longer. So guys, let's go ahead, change the oil, and let's talk about some stuff while we're changing the oil. Let's get it. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start this bad boy up. And guys, look at that. Just to, just to show you guys, I'm not lying to you. 175,000. Listen to her purr. All right guys, so we got the truck running. Don't worry, it is especially dirty. Guys, I'll go ahead and give you guys a peek into the engine bay so you can see I'm not lying to you. We don't have no uh, major issues that run good. Don't have really uh, any sounds coming for it, uh, coming from it, as you guys can hear. You guys, so basically what I'm doing, I'm just letting the truck warm up. I know you guys know how to change the oil. We're just gonna kind of run through it real quick how I do it. I let the truck warm up for just a little bit, get that oil pan nice and hot. Uh, that way it burns you when you uh, get some on you because trust me guys, you ain't that good. I'm just kidding guys. All right guys, so I tried to get the camera set up as best I can, but guys, you can already see, I'm gonna get some oil on me. Can't, can't avoid it, just cannot avoid it. Let me get my, my cap here for my drain, uh, drain can out of the way. Go ahead and unscrew this. See if we got it loose enough. We can do it by hand. Look at that guys, already got some on me. Don't even call me a mechanic. Can't, can't handle this. All right guys, and look at that. That's what our oil looks like, good and hot and good and black. So this is after 5,000 miles, but we have no metal shavings. Uh, as you can see, nothing on the bottom of this drain plug. Um, and, I mean, guys, the oil is clean. It's just really dark. And, and imagine if you ran this another three to 4,000 miles, um, you're going to get a lot of, uh, basically a lot of trash. So you're going to get a lot of gunk, a lot of buildup, and that's going to be circulating through the motors. It's definitely going to be building up from the top end. And guys, these motors rely heavily on clean oil to uh, run at their best performance and get the best mileage and best power. And uh, just a lot of their components rely on clean oils, like the VCTs. Uh, if you have a dirty oil and you get a lot of gunk on those VCTs, you're gonna have a lot of problem with your cam time. And no, that is not a good design, uh, but that's just how Ford has done it. So this is, this is why it's important uh, for the life of these motors to make sure you have good, clean oil. All right guys, so we got the filter down here ready to put on and we've got our drain plug put back in tightened up now we're gonna start it no i'm just kidding guys but uh no guys i do want to point out something that you guys may not think about so let me turn the camera around just a second so something you guys may fail to notice i actually have electric fans in my truck and i put uh i'll go ahead and link the kit down below it's flex light 270 from jigs so basically i've got these electric fans i don't know if you guys can see this or not but guys they're the shroud is gone and guys look how easy it is to get that oil filter out there. I mean, you just reach up here and grab it. And guys, we do go back with motorcraft. That's what we do. We go back with motorcraft. Uh, you know, there's gonna have, you're gonna have some people that tell you a filter good, filter bad. It's whatever it's whatever your preference is, guys. I like the motorcraft filters. You can put whatever you want on there. Uh, but guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. I am not gonna be able to do this one hand while holding the camera. 
We got her filled up. Or sorry, we got everything buttoned up. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill her up with our uh, five, seven quarts. This is just a five quart jug. So I normally get a five quart jug and two little quarts, fill her up. And guys, this is a 530 synthetic. Remember, 530 synthetic, works great on these high mileage motors. Um, but guys, this is definitely gonna help prolong and uh, your motor's gonna love you for it. So uh, guys, it's supposedly on the bottle, it says it increases fuel economy. I don't know about that. I get 15, uh, 15, five with 35, 12, 50, 20 tires on this bad boy uh with 373 gears so i i do okay um uh, it's still a truck it don't matter whether you're getting 15 17 or 13 to me you still got to fill up at the end of the day and you know right now that fill up's going to cost you quite a bit but guys let me go ahead and get it filled up we'll start it back up check it and guys that'll be how you make your 5.4 triton last longer all right guys go ahead and get it All right, guys, so that right there is just how you can make your 5.4 last longer. So I normally recommend the 30-weight oil or going to the 30-weight oil uh, probably when you hit 100,000 miles. I'd say that'd be the time to swap from the 20 to the 30. Uh, but, guys, most of these trucks, anywhere you find them, will be over 100,000. So I'd say go ahead and start putting your 30-weight in there. Uh, I mean, guys, it's not going to hurt it. Uh, if anything, it'll help it. So like I said, guys, if you uh, enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.